Welcome back to Let's Play of Burnham, Escape from the Pit. Alright. I don't know how much progress we're going to make in the Sutserakai War, but... We can at least probably handle the Fort Dranlin request. So let's go to this village. I mean, we handled the uh, fish farms. So this shouldn't be, like, much of a problem. Especially if they clump up in, like, really conveniently like that. Jeez. I should go make potions with my materials, but... That's not really the point right now. Obvious blade sweep scenario. Finish. All the storm. Fire on that one. Sellables. Swamp City. Spatula City! Spatula City! You're at the south entrance to a slith settlement. It's in a huge cave to the north. You can see rows of crops and long, narrow pools. Cave fish and strange fungus are being raised in long, water-filled trenches. Dull-eyed slith citizen civilians tend the food. At first, they barely notice your presence. Then the guards with sharp blows from the butts of their... With... Sh with sharp blows from the butts of their two tiny spears, rouse them and force them to the bridge, ready to repel your assault. I really hope that I would manage better with that. I'm gonna put Flawless Shot there. Just for scenarios like this, you know. Blade sweep. I don't think that's what happened at the box office when the Blade movies came out. I hit the wrong buttons there. That's all I can say. yourself. I do appreciate that generally dungeons are of similar scale. Like, you have a pretty good idea of what you're getting into no matter where you are. I know for some folk who I know that's one of the lesser parts of this. <laughs> but I know. I appreciate when my time is respected. You know? Like, I'm told, hey, there's a dungeon ahead. A dungeon is a period of time in this game.
Uh, the worms. The worms. The worms. Don't like the elemental worms. Well, I will have cleared the opening encounter. It's really hard to tell how intended it is for you to do, like, multiple goes at a dungeon. I guess it really depends on the difficulty you're playing on. Like... I don't know, like, in an Elder Scrolls game, it feels cheap to leave and come back. Here, it's hard to tell what the intent really is. I don't know why you ran off like that, honestly, buddy. Here we've got lovely crystal, fine steel gauntlets, money. I notice the slith don't tend to use containers. The worm farm. Shut it down. As the apprentice in Shaman Gisatha. Not the targeting I wanted to do. Purified is a moderately irritating status to have. Uh, throw a daze in there. Uh, 
I'm really going to need to improve that if I want it to be, like, more useful. I should go spend some money on mage spells soon. Just need to make sure I have the money. Hmm. Probably should have thrown up protection now I think about it. Oh, I can learn mass healing. I have the skill for it. Summon a shade. And flawless shot. Okay, now I know there's a mini boss encounter up here. Stop here. Protection. War blessing. Uh, wait, why did the named one run in? <laughs> That one out. I feel like even the AI is like, wow, this is a really awkward scenario now. Immediately go up and start working on that one. You would think terrified, like five E has the only fear status that I think makes sense, which is you will move as far away from the entity that inflicted the status on you as you possibly can. We got protection. Like, moving about randomly does not make sense to me. That's more of a confusion. Uh, and over a healing potion, I guess. And uh, acid shower?
There's a boss. I just, oh, it's behind a pillar. I was like, a fundamental part of this encounter is suddenly missing. I'm going to actually move up all the way like this so I can... I missed that one, did I? No, I didn't, surprisingly. Did not hit from there? Yes, you can. Finish it off. And maybe finish that one off? No. Not even the acid will. Experimental rat. Oh god, what do I do here? Use a heal potion, then heal the most vulnerable party member. That's what I do here. Swap places, finish off the Greater Shade, kill you, come on, just finish it up, oh, there we go. Finish you off, heal you up, wow, you're hurt. How about you back off, fire at that rat, try not to get acid of yourself. Selfed? Okay, now we're pretty much in just beat down the main target mode. Poison and acid, and it's done. Alright, spiritual herbs. Healing herbs. Stability girdle. 2% evade. Recovery scroll. Curing for AoE. Speed potion. That connects back to the main square. This also connects back to the main square. Nursery. Ordinarily, I'd complain about goblin babies, but, like, it's a settlement. We were told it was a settlement from the start. Got 250 money, beautiful crystal, cabled longbow, I have breastplate. Herbs. Still no gray mold. Dagger, bronze halberd, <laughs> bag of sugar. We need that for a uh, quest, so we don't have to seal. Incenses, fine cloaks, iron dagger. What do we got here? Uh, save, decipher. Uh, more proficiency with war blessing, which now gives spine shield. Awesome. Surprisingly, the book was written by humans. The slit's most moist fingerprints are all over it. They must have been studying it to learn about humanity. The book is a history of the Empire. Like most of the books on the surface, it was only released after being carefully checked by the agents of Emperor Hawthorne. It describes how the Empire came to rule all four continents on the surface. The book ends just after the fourth wildest continent, Valorem, is finally fully conquered by Emperor Hawthorne. The humans who opposed him either ended up dead or in a vernum, usually the former.
These pools are the nucleus of a large slit hatchery. You're surrounded by hundreds of eggs resting in shallow pools of water. They're likely to grow one day into happy, healthy, somewhat psychotic daddy and mommy sliths. Very little is keeping you from doing the slith, area, the slith tribes in this area a great deal of damage with one brief spurt of violence. Sure. What? Well, let's war crimes. It takes about ten minutes. Soon you've decimated the nursery and shattered all the eggs. The job takes a little while. As you strike the last blows, the chief of this town and his entourage arrive. They scream in grief and fury, then they attack. Yeah, we are the baddies. One day people just showed up in these people's homes. That's going to be one for another time just because I don't have the accuracy. This room is a slith nursery. Long pools are provided for the little ones. Inside them they eat, grow, and play with toy two tiny spears. You can't see any of the baby slith Zerakai now. When you entered, they fled. They dive down into the little tunnels at the bottoms of the pools. You wait, but they don't resurface. Curing potion, healing potion. This box contains a bunch of dry slith skins. Why would these creatures save their own skin? It's very odd. Underneath the nasty things, you also find an onyx key. Quest completed, slith fortress key. Oh... These long, watery trenches are filled with masses of pale, writhing cave fish. The sliths must be raising them for food. It's an ingenious and efficient arrangement of pools. Village people may be barbaric, but they're not foolish. Who's barbaric? I assume, like, some of the sequels go into the hypocrisy. This is just, you know, well, it's a fantasy game. You're an adventurer helping humanity who are good. I missed. There is. On this pedestal is a heavy leather bound tome. It's the pages are covered with tight slith pictograms, carefully painted in gold ink. The book radiates a strange magical power, though not one you would take you could take advantage of. This book could be very useful to someone who's studying the slith magicians. Take it. Let's give this a shot with pre-buffing.
And yeah, well. While the boss is down there, try and chip away at some of Luke's. Wait, sweet. Keep going for that. So that's going to help with taking out the mooks. There's probably going to be more waves, but... I don't have to agree with a piece of media to get enjoyment out of it, to be clear. And I absolutely do not agree with Everhood. Because that has some things to say that I'm not into. Not on, like, any moral level, it's just not my philosophy. It's more just... Based on his other works, this doesn't seem like the kind of thing that Jeff Vogel would just play straight and leave alone. Then again, this is also like his first series, the Exile Games, were. So maybe he addresses it more in remakes or the sequels, maybe he doesn't. Hit that warrior. Hit that warrior. Heal you. Yeah, pre-buffing makes this a breeze. Here and light sweep. Come up and stab. Curic Chain. Minus one strength, plus one AP. Holy crap, yeah, give that to you. Slith Spear, Leather Armors, Fine Cloak, Leather Armor, Slith War Spear, which is the one that I already have one of. Alright. That's Swamp Town taken care of. We move quickly towards the exit, hoping to make a clean escape with this whole stolen Slith holy book. Unfortunately and unsurprisingly, the priests of the town plan to make your lives difficult. I killed everyone. A group of, of crack, a group of crack Slith troops is hiding in the water by the exit, ready to ambush you as you leave. They rise from the muck, spears at the ready. This feels like a murder blobbing encounter. Focus one down. Protection. A level up. Shot. 
per usual, prioritizing permanent. Ooh. Kill you. You're just in range, so I'm gonna fire once. Easy. Don't try that again in combat. Or do, that gets me a lot closer, actually. <laughs> Keep trying to summon, buddy. There we go. Some more junk to sell. And since we're over here, let's go. Sign says there's a stone pile on here, covered with a strange pictograms, many of them depict violence. Just kind of want to see up this coast. Find a ruined stoned house. Stoned house? No. Oh. Near the wreckage of a boat. It was beached there a long, here a long time ago. The house only contains trash. There's little left of interest except for the, a green crystal mounted on the prow of the ruined boat. Wisdom crystal. He was describing them as green. They're orange in the inventory, though. So let's see. Shannon, I've been fighting the Sliths and I even stole their plants. Did you hear? Yes, yes, very nice. Now be quiet. I'm listening. Shh. Todrick needs something. Todrick, no. I check here. So Zerakai Arcana is Merwin. Um, maybe you would be interested in owning this book on Slith Magic. Merwin takes the Slith tome and starts looking through it carefully, as if she's afraid it will hurt her. How interesting. How bizarre. I wonder if this will help us. I certainly hope so. Give me some time for me to look at this. Come back later and I'll gladly teach you the Dispel Barrier spell. Oh. Uh, 1,000 to learn? Mage's, Mage spell's skill isn't high enough. What? is needed for that. The spell barrier takes a mage spell skill of six. Or six. Eleven. Because I have six. Ooh. Uh, let's see. If I look at pre-spell, 17 for divine host. Honestly, for the time being, I can probably hold off on Priest after the next level. Alright. Let's go ahead and go with 
Blade Master Perry. Perry Mastery 3. Um, nimble fingers, too. All right, and then Commander's Office. There are a lot. Oh, that's a guard. Kill that shaman you told me about. Not to sound greedy, but can I have some kind of reward? She laughs, a harsh, almost maniacal sound. Excellent, he got what he deserved. Fight us, fine, but to taunt us like that. I can't reward you much, but she hands you a small pouch of gold coins and a wool cloak. Money is out of my pocket, and I bought the cloak from the surface. Call it a personal gift from me to you, given with the greatest gratitude. Alright, so that's all of Fort Dranlin done. You should take some endurance. Think, think. So you can't take ambidextrous yet. Go ahead and start taking mighty blows. And da da. Energy boom gives you 4% energy. Let's go ahead and give you blessing focus. Okay. That knocks a few things off of our to-do list. Um, all right, next time on Let's Play Avernum Escape from the Pit, I think it's time we give the Batcave Assassin another shot. Oh, I should actually, like, throw on that Mercuric Chain. That's going to be so much better for you. That hit chance reduction. Oh, the Spectral Gloves are animated. That's neat. I didn't notice they were one of those. Just want to get teleported over to Formello. I don't know what we're going to do after attempting that fight, though. I guess we'll just have to find out. Alright. So next time on A Varum Escape from the Pit, Batcave Assassin attempt, and... No, no, hang on, hang on, we got the sugar to turn in. Where was the bog? It was right here. Look, I found a bag of sugar for you. You hand Gad the bag of sugar. Oh, marvelous, he says after tasting it. So rare, so delicious. I'll be able to turn this into great wealth. The rich of Avernum will gladly take advantage of this luxury, and oh, will they pay well. Gad pays you a healthy pouch of silver for your services. Hope you don't have to do any, didn't have to do anything immoral to get this stuff. He winks. Yeah. That's another thing off our list. Heck yeah. And I think that'll be another thing off the list. 
We also want to see, let's see, Kias is center north, so that's not where we're going yet. We have a delivery for Fort Draco to Botel. Any temple up river. No, this is an, an area we've definitely never explored yet. Okay, we'll go to the Batcave and then check out the Lair of Atheron. See you guys then.